Hello viewers, today I am going to show you an injection technique for a clinical condition called decurvance. Now decurvance is an extremely common condition uh, which causes pain across the wrist and if you have pain in this part of the area and if you have swelling and fullness then there is a very good chance that you have decurvance. A simple test that you can do at home is make take your thumb in, make a fist and do this. And if you do this, if you have pain here, then there's a very good chance that you have got decurvance and you need to see an orthopedic surgeon. Now, this is extremely common condition in players uh, who do racket sports and also seen commonly in new mothers who lift their child. Now, usually it gets better with rest and splintage. However, if it doesn't get better, then you may require a steroid injection. And I'm going to show you a technique as how to do this properly. So now our patient is ready. We have cleaned this area with plenty of alcohol solution. Um, so the landmark is uh, radial steroid. So I'm just drawing up radial steroid for you. It's somewhere here. Base of thumb is somewhere there. Now if you want to feel the tendon, uh, you ask the patient to do the thumbs up. And as you does the thumbs up, you can see there's the tendon here become prominent and these are the tendons that we will be injecting. Now just distal to the steroid is our extensor retinaculum. Now our aim is that we will be injecting just in the synovial sheath of first compartment. So I have uh, taken uh, 40 milligram of Depomedrom with uh, 2 mils of 1% uh, lignocaine. Now, if you are doing it under ultrasound guided, you can uh, probably use less volume. Uh, because we are doing it blind, I would like it to spread uh, so that it covers my area of interest. Now, our starting point is probably just distal to the radial steroid. So, radial steroid, I have drawn it slightly distal. <coughs> so, just stay distal and be perpendicular, horizontal. You don't want to be going um, perpendicularly because then you will be going into the tendon. Always aspirate and then slowly just you can see that it will start to swell up. So just be very, very gentle. Just be very, very gentle. And if you want to be sure that you are not within the tendon is that you can take away the needle and you can ask the patient to move the thumb. And what it will do is, if it is in the tendon, it will start moving. On this occasion, we are safe. So I'm just going to inject 3 mil. And then with a swab, I'm just going to redistribute it. And that is how you inject a decurvin tenosynovitis. So yours, this was a demonstration on how to safely do a steroid injection for decurvins. My suggestion for both patients and orthopedic surgeon is that we should give this injection only once. Uh, if patient gets better, well and good. If it doesn't, then you are looking for operative intervention. If you give steroid injection more than once, then you increase the risk of tendon rupture, which can be quite counterproductive. So viewers, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, do subscribe, do share our channel. Thank you.